so whenever we talk about transgenic fish or genetically modified fish we have to in this particular topic we have to study at least four things first is definition of what is a transgenic fish okay what is a transgenic fish second is how do you make a transgenic fish or genetically modified fish how one can make there are ways and the third is what are the benefits of transgenic fish and what are the different types of transgenic fishes which are present and one is what are the danger of using transgenic fish only these four topics so a uh, transgenic fish is also sometimes called uh, synonymously it's called as genetically modified fish but there is one minor difference that is in transgenic fish in transgenic fish a gene from another organism is inserted inside right but in genetically modified you can make other not only the, you put something from outside it's also transgenic but for example you can make other changes on the genetic material you can delete nucleotides so but uh, you can be used synonymously so genetically modified fish er prothom part ta dekho the first part so ekhane bolche genetically modified fish jeta so one which you call as genetically modified fish they are organisms from the taxonomic clade which include classes agnatha chondrichthys and ostrichthys so layman is what are the types of fishes in the genetically modified fish what type of fishes you can use the taxonomic clade the taxonomic group class agnatha agnatha are cyclostomes jawless fishes chondrichthys they are sharks and torpedoes they are cartilaginous fish and ostrichthys the modern bony fish you can make transgenic fish from them so they are genetic material or dna it has been altered by genetic engineering techniques some technique it has been altered so why is it altered it is altered to introduce a new trait to the fish which does not occur in the species naturally naturally nei tai jonno transgenic fish kora hoy chhe mane eta emni nei nischoy for some reason for some benefit that particular fish has been done for example i want that fish to have more ma bigger size so i introduce growth hormone into it inside this trans gene inside this fish and this, so this fish becomes bigger normally you will have a fish say for example uh shingi it it's going to be something like maximum 20 cm not more than that now if you put a trans gene sometimes for excess growth hormone maybe you can get a bigger shingi so some trait also it can be used as pets kept as pets now uh, in chobi ta the chobi ta dekhte pachho chobi ta the what you are seeing over here basically it's a zebra fish they are genetically modified to have long fins can you see the long fins the long fins over here here this you can see this fin to be very long yeah fin ta dekhte pachho pashe 
दाना गुलो so why are they used basically first point point is they enhance the trait of commercially available fish so commercially available fish er ekono ekta bhalo feature otake bariye dicche improve kore dicche aro enhance kore dicche they are used as bioreactors for the development of bio medically important proteins now they want to have some uh, these uh, when people consume this fish when you consume it you get the nutrients from the fish you want to have people have something more more nutrition maybe you can uh, uh, some protein for example uh, people have got a deficiency of a particular protein so you uh, genetically modify that fish and inside that fish you just simply give them those proteins uh, that uh, and uh, when you eat it you get that enhanced thing then they are used as indicators of aquatic pollutants so when there is pollution for example so they can basically monitor these uh, the some traits of some species uh, they can uh, they give a signal when there is pollution so they take that particular trait and they put it in that fish and then immediately you can detect pollution developing non mammalian animal models so you need uh, uh, non mammalian uh, for example killing mammals for example a rat uh, so killing mammals a rat or maybe uh, guinea pig it is not uh, that easy and the growing time is more but this fish growing time is less so by making transgenic fish you can make a non mammalian but vertebrate study models and functional genomic studies you uh, so put a extra gene for example a particular protein which you over express a protein maybe it's a transcription factor it is going to uh, up regulate some other genes or maybe you knock out some genes and then you see the effect of what other genes are being knocked out you study it in functional uh, functional genomics proteomics you see what other genes are not expressed in a normal uh, fish you see these genes are expressed when you knock out a particular transcription factor say for example you will see what are the particular genes which are not expressed which are down regulated then you, then you can see that this particular gene has got a link with the genes which are down regulated you can study now what are their uses like i'm saying can I go to that picture of this glowfish green fish glowfish pecho shobuj ranger mach dekhte pachcho so these glowfish basically are genetically engineered so it allows gm fish say for example tetra barb or zebra fish to express jellyfish and sea coral proteins like green fluorescent proteins so moment under you are fluorescent when you are yeah, so this gives the fish bright red or green or orange fluorescent colors when viewed in ultraviolet light so to you put the fish at purple ultraviolet light you will see your fish glowing they will look beautiful otherwise they'll be invisible so moment they start glowing so you take this uh, uh, gfp uh, green fluorescent protein or red fluorescent protein you can uh, that is uh, ds red it's called so you can take them you can make them orange also orange you can make so you can express these colors by making and it looks very beautiful it's recreational food they have uh, tried to nowadays the uh, united states has allowed uh, transgenic fishes to be consumed basically what they do uh, is you say you put the gene for growth hormone inside these fishes and what happens these fishes if it size was 10 cm it can grow up to 20 cm because more growth hormone is being produced you put an additional one more gene which is exp over expressing inside it and so that's effect uh, will always fall on the fish 
and it is growing bigger in size. Bigger in size means you will get more proteins from that fish. So examples say growth hormone is it is being used, you can use them. Then uh, uh, you can have other things also being uh, expressed. For example, uh, you can have uh, um, certain inhibitors, some disease inhibitors being overexpressed. Uh, some fishes are uh, uh, particularly susceptible to some particular virus. So you put a disease resistant thing. So the moment that virus attacks, it's going to uh, survive. Others uh, will die. So you can grow these fish much better. So there are these aqua advantage salmon, which are, you can give these examples. Then detecting aquatic pollutions. So several research groups, they have been developing genetically modified zebra fish to detect aquatic pollution. Detecting aquatic pollution, conservation at Tolai. So to attack, uh, to detect aquatic pollution. So they developed glowfish originally. They wanted, they made this glowfish, which in UV light, and intended them to change color in the presence of pollutants. So basically, when water is fine, they are not supposed to grow. But they have engineered such that when this pollution enters, there are some genes which are being expressed in the fish. And those genes will uh, have got transcript uh, transcription factors. They will go and bind to the GFP uh, gene. And in pollution, under pollution condition, these fish will start to blow. The moment you put an uh, UV lamp or something on that water, you will see these fish blowing. That means this water is polluted, you can say. Because the pollution has entered into that fish and it has expressed certain transcription factors which try to resist the pollution. Among them, one of them is the transgenically induced GFP. You can see the color and say its water is polluted. This needs to be genetically regu regulated. You can put a poison also in the fish, poison for humans. You eat that fish and you can die. Then there is a problem that these transgenic fish, if they have better strength to survive in that environment, they can overpower the natural fish. Selection will take place. Natural selection will take place and then the natural species will be eradicated. You have to be very much controlled and regulated. And the last part is, go to the next move, trans, uh, uh, transgenic fish. Production of transgenic fish. We have to go to the picture which is present. Page of first picture. So you have the main fish releases sperms. Padike. Male fish is releasing sperms, female fish is releasing ova. Okay. They fuse and form fertilized eggs. Now inside these fertilized eggs, you put in the transgene. How you can use uh, uh, the CRISPR, the, it's a latest, the latest technology where you can direct the, oh, at that particular point I want that particular transgene to enter. So you can, there are CRISPR technology. You have the transgene, say for example this GFP, you have the trans GFP trans, uh, transgene, it is flanked by sequences which are uh, important for this CRISPR technology. CRISPR technology is something else, you have to read it later, but uh, for example you can uh, do it and you can target the particular, the inside the nucleus in that DNA, that particular region, I want that gene to go there. So the CRISPR will do, uh, will uh, guide this particular gene to that point and it is going to recombine. And now, for example, the transgene fish is black and the normal fish is gray. And then, you know, this is the F1 generation you get. Some are transgenic, some are not transgenic. 
you cross among themselves and in the f2 generation you can get the transgenic fish so the first thing is a gene sequence is to isolate for the particular characteristic for example hormone gene growth hormone gene you take the growth hormone gene isolate you add it in a crispr plasmid and now you are injecting into the eggs the next is these genes are then inserted into a circular dna known as plasmid vector so pashi leka ache thik ache so restriction endonuclear molecular cloning then these plasmids are harvested in the bacteria to produce billions of copy prochur you get lots of dna then plasmids are introduced into linear dna the linear dna is sometimes called a gene cassette so this is a crispr gene cassette the picture which is in the picture the lombard dna which you see the long dna which you see the crispr package and uh, there are te technologies by which you can insert it one of them is the crispr technique okay you can use talent technology also so this is how you make a transgenic fish okay ji this is the end of today's class i note gulo diyechi read these notes properly if you have questions please do ask me